Okay, Pute. Good evening, all of you. We are in the binomial expressions lesson, no? Can you see my screen? Well, I'm out on the screen. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay. I ask you to do the first 10 questions in the tutorial. Okay. If you have done this, please raise your hand. Didn't you even try this? Try Karevat Nadda. Amira, Tanvi, haven't you? What we have to do here? Simplify the following binomial expressions. They have given a product of binomial expression, no? Binomial expressions, the product of the binomial expressions. If we consider the first one, it is x plus 7 into x plus 4. Okay? Then, this is we call a product of binomial expression. Binomial expression product teka kela kiyenwa etukota api meya simplify karana kota simplify karana kiyanne mokadda that means we have to expand uh, sorry we have to remove the brackets okay the brackets mean actually you have to multiply these two and obtain a trinomial quadratic expression we know that for a product of to binomial expressions, most of the time we obtain trinomial quadratic expression. Okay, we multiply first term by the first term. Okay, that means this is the first expression, this is the second expression. We multiply the first term by first term, first term by second term. Okay, likewise, we continue. No, let's see. x into x plus 4, add 7 into x plus 4. Yeah, again, api palaveni term making, devani expression nekat, devani term making, devani expression nekat, multiply kar. Api me step ekat, at the dome skip karana pulva, ek paring api karana pulva. Hari, x into x, it is x squared, x into 4. I explain you that. When we multiply an algebraic term by a number, then we have to give the priority for the number. Then we write the number first. Then it is 4x. 7 into x, it doesn't matter. It is 7x. 7 into 4, it is 28. Then x is squared, added. 4x and 7x are added. Then what is the answer? It is 11x at 28. Is there anyone those who have got that answer? My answer is got to I know the whole body. Wow, very good. That means you have done the tutorial, no? Well done. Second one. It is x subtract 8 into x subtract 5. x minus 5. Okay. In this case also, we have to always, what you have to do is, we multiply first term by the second expression. And second term, now the second term is a negative value. That means minus 8 by second expression. Then x into x, 
6 it is x squared x into minus 5 x into minus 5 means minus 5 into x okay so it is minus 5x minus 8x minus 8 times minus 5 it is plus 40 the answer is here you can see when we have same sign numbers together then you have to add them and include the sign, same sign 5 plus 8 it is 13 13 times x at 40 okay then this is the answer Good. Tani has got the answer. Very good. Huh? Okay. Third one. X is added to nine. X subtract one. Then x into x minus one add nine because this is a positive value, you know, so plus nine into x minus one. Then x into x it be come x square. X into minus one it is minus six. Nine into x it is nine x. Nine into minus one it is minus nine. Okay, then x squared here. Look at it is sum or the two numbers or two terms with different sign. When we have two numbers together with different sign, एके अने वेनस लाकुनो समग्र एकति बुनो एकते. अभी मुकाद्दे पुत्ते करानो ने. We have to subtract the smallest term by the largest term always. Then after include the sign of the largest term. It is therefore it become eight x subtract nine. Fourth one. Two x added three y into three x added four y. Okay. Then here it is two x into three x add four y plus three y into three x add four y. Then two x into three x it is six x square. Two x into four y it is eight x y. Add three into three it is nine. Y into x, y into x, y x. Yes, but it is better to write x y because here we have obtained x y term. So when we have obtained y x, that means it is x y. Then we have obtained two same or like terms. अभी तो दोबारा like terms देखा क्या बीतें द y x की वर्त x y की वर्त एक कम हर इधर एक ही गैटल वर्क ने Five. Five minus two p. Three p add four. Then 
look at 5 into 3p is added 4. Here it is minus 2p into 3p added 4. Actually, if you have written this one carefully, then you can you have to do the multiplication. 5 into 3p, it is 15p. 5 into 4, it is 20. Minus 2p into 3p, it is minus 6p squared. Minus 2p into 4, it is minus 8 okay then look at here the square term is in the middle of the expression no then it is better to no need to write it there's no rule to write it in first okay doesn't matter if you have written in the middle but it is better to take the all the like terms together okay here 15 p minus 8 p add 20 then it is minus 6p squared. Again, there is a case that uh, two terms are together with different signs. Then subtract the smallest one by large one. Then answer is 7p. 7p add 20. Okay. If you have got this one, please raise your hand. Okay, three of you have got the answer, no? Good. Shall we move? Sixth one. It is 3m add half into m add 4. Okay. Then 3m into m. It is 3m into m plus 4, then half into m plus 4. Then 3m into m, it is 3m squared. 3m into 4, it is 4m. Half into m, it is half into m. Half into 4, when you multiply half by 4, then... 4 is divided by 2, it is 2. Okay, so then 3m squared, 4 plus half means 4 and half. <laughs> m add 2, okay. Excuse me, Dave. Six, seventh one. Twenty five in the twelve. Mm. 
Ah, yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah it should be um, 3 in 2 m it is not 4 here actually it should be three into m three m square three into m it is 12 m half into m this half m half into four it is two doesn't matter then here 12 and half okay when you add these two it become 12 and half Tell me, your answer is a bit different. No, it is. It should be twelve m, twelve and half m. Okay, you can't actually. You can simplify it like this: twelve into half. Him and every maker. It is a fraction, mixed number. Okay, because when you add twelve and half, that means it is twelve half. Okay, seventh one. 2y subtract 5 into y added 10. Okay, it is kind of this way. Then 2y into y, it is 2y, y plus 10 is minus 5 y plus 10 okay then 2y into y it is 2y squared 2y into 10 it is 20y minus 5 into y it is minus 5y minus 5 into 10 it is minus 50 Each I took half into M is M upon 2. Anyway, you should you have you have you should have got it as 12, um, 12 and M over 2. It doesn't matter. Then here it is. 20 subtract 5, 2y squared, add 15y subtract 50, okay? Did you get this answer? Then seven, eight, eighth question. It is negative two Q subtract seven P into four Q add five P. Then negative two Q four Q add five P minus seven P. 4q add 5p. Then minus 2q plus 4q. That means minus 8 is 8q squared minus 2q plus 5p. It is minus 10pq. It is better to write q, not qp, pq. Minus 7 times 4, it is minus 28pq. Minus 7p times plus 5p, it is minus 35p squared, okay? Minus 35p squared. Then after minus 8q squared, here pq, that means like terms are together, then you can identify they are with same sign, no negative sign, so add them. It becomes 38, 
negative because both are include of minus sign. PQ subtract 35 P squared. Okay, all are negative values. Doesn't matter. We can have such kind of expression as an answer. Then ninth one, it is 6A add 11B into 4X add 5Y. Okay. Then 6A into 4X add 5Y. Here plus 11B, 4X plus 5Y. Then 6 into 8 is 24AX into 6a times 5y is 30ay at 11b times 6 it is 44bx at 11b times 5y then it is 55by okay there's no any like terms to simplify therefore we can keep the answer as it is okay then the last question one upon three x add one upon four times y two upon five times x add one upon two is y then one upon here actually this will be a bit difficult as we have to do the addition multiplication all those things with fractions but if you have done it correctly that means very clearly then you can get an answer here look at x into x it is x square 1 upon 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5. That means it becomes 2 upon 15. Add 3 into 2, it is 6. 1 into 1, it is 1. X into Y, XY. Add 1 upon 4 times 2 upon 5, it is 1 upon 10 times XY. Add 1 upon 8, Y squared. Then here you can see you have to simplify two fractions with different denominators. So make two a one denominator. Then to make two a one denominator, you can multiply by five. It is five x y upon thirty. Here three um, x y upon thirty. Okay, one upon eight y squared. Then 2 upon 15x squared add here 8xy upon 30. Add 1 upon 8y squared. Actually, you can see that we can simplify this. This can be divided by 2. It is 4. This is divided by 2, 15. Therefore, it is 2 upon 15 times x squared that. 4xy upon 15 and 1 upon 8 into y squared. Okay. Did you understand? Have you got this answer? May answer Kavithi and other. If you have got this answer, please raise your hand. No one has got that answer. Okay, then shall we move to the um, 
second question in the tutorial. Read the question. The length of a side of a square shaped land is 6 meters. There is another rectangular shape and uh, land where the length is 10 meters more and the breadth is 3 meters less than first land. Express the length and the breadth of that rectangular shaped land in terms of x. Construct an algebraic expression for the area of the rectangular shaped land and write it in terms of uh, sorry in the form of ax squared plus bx added c. Okay, this is an application of product of two binomial expressions. Okay. Then first of all, let's identify what they have mentioned. It is a, it has mentioned about a square shape land. No, square shape land The length of a side of a square shape land is x centimeters. This is x. There is another rectangular shape land where the length is 10 meters more than more and the breadth is 3 meters less than the first land. There is another rectangular land. I will draw it like this. And they have mentioned the length and breadth of the second land as in terms of x okay you can palavini ke diga palalin tamai meyage aluthe na ke diga palala diila thiyenne hari balanna honda ah uh, there is another rectangle shape land where the length is length is the length is 10 meters more and breadth is 3 meters less okay then this is now here the breadth also x no in this case also breadth is x now they have mentioned that length Length is instead of is we write equal sign. Length is 10 meters more. More means add. Then x added 10. Then what is the new length of the second land? Sorry, not new length. The length of second land should be x plus 10. And the breadth. They have mentioned about the breadth. Hmm? Breadth. breadth is breadth is three meters less than when it is less than you have to subtract x less than means x subtract three then what is the breadth of the second land it is x less than three okay this is about the how we obtain the length and breadth by the given Value. Express the length and the breadth of the rectangular shape plan in terms of x. It's correct, it's clear. No? Is there anyone those who didn't understand this part? It's okay now. Okay, then after they asked to find or construct an algebraic expression for the area of the rectangular shape land. Then area of a rectangular land. Area of a rectangular land is obtained by multiplying length into breadth. It is length into breadth. 
no length එක breadth එකෙන් වැඩි කරනවා length is x added 10 breadth breadth is x subtract 3 then you have to express this as a trinomial quadratic expression then expand this as we did in the previous exercise then x into x it is x squared x into 3 it is minus 3x 10 into x it is 10x 10 into minus 3 it is minus 30 then here the two middle terms are consist of different signs so subtract the smallest by large and include the sign of the large then it is x squared added 7x subtract 30. This is the area of a rectangular land. Normally when you are asked to express it in this form, that means you have to express what is x, what is b and what is c. Now here what is a? Can you express what is a, what is b and what is c? A is the coefficient of x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared here? It should be 1. What is the coefficient of 7x? It is 7. Here it is c is minus 30, last constant. When you ask to express a particular term, expression in terms or in form of a given an expression, then you have to express what are the constants are or the unknown terms are okay is this clear up to this one we haven't done the uh, applications actually api applications kare na habai walata grade 9 wala knowledge ekin meka karanna puluwan gama tiyenna ona hariyada hari Okay, then today we last week I discussed about the product. No, mama guess that you already feel that no product key in it, gana. Then now, other mama key that then they are no all to cut me square. Kaki ani. Then now, this mama product take kaki ani. Kya ani? Numbers the hika product take algebraic terms. So the product me with here abhi products the na katta kara. Then today, let's see what is square. Okay, just write a topic, square. Square.
What is mean by square? Square means not the, we are do not discuss about the plane figure, okay? Here we discuss about square of a term, square of a number like that, okay? When the power of a number is equals to two or the index of the power is equals to two, this can be called as square of a number or we can say square of three, okay? Then if it is x squared, then we can say that it is square of a term. This can be expressed as 5 into a. It is a. Now, how we write it at once? It is because we can write 25 as 5 squared into a squared. Then 5 squared into a squared means 5a square that means we can say it is a square of a product no a square of a product then go to the number of the product take a key and make it can pull a square of a square of three key and a product is care of a number actually here i am giving that a general way of the read, read in a particular expression square of a number then why we say it is square? It's all because of this power. I mean, power is hindu tamai me square square kya gine an. So me wal to pay no me square ek apne liya an pulo vidhyak tiye no ne endu. We can write it as um, we can expand three squared as three into three, and we can obtain an answer as nine. Here, x square can be expanded as x into x when we require. Here, 5a squared actually. Mm. Five a squared. Generally, we can say it is square of a product. Product is square. Then here, 5 into a square. That means this exponent is belongs to the both two terms within the brackets. Then it is 5 square squared into a square that means 25 a square then we can write actually it as 25 a squared likewise you can identify that we can obtain a particular suitable answer instead of a square likewise if you are given an expression like this this is we called square of a binomial expression. Make it up again of a binomial expression. Square of a number, square of a term or an algebraic term. Here is square of a product. Okay. And here it is a square of a binomial expression. Then when we have a binomial expression as an square, then we can obtain the particular expression by using a special way like we did in the previous three. Okay. So let's in the part of the lesson, square of a binomial expression, we identify how we get an answer for the 
scale of a binomial expression at once like we did in the here. Okay. Then, so first of all, write down this one. Make Leah Okay. 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 Have you finished the writing? Deliver this. Go on, Lily Verkati. Please raise your hand, those who have finished the writing. <laughs> Only one, uh, three others. Naditi, do you need more time? No, teacher. Okay, then after write the subtopic. Scale of Binomial expression. Then let's take a binomial expression. It is x plus y square. Okay. Then x plus y squared means x plus y into x plus y squared means repeated multiplication of the same expression. Then x multiplied by x plus y because second expression also x plus y. Then y multiplied by second expression x plus y. Then x into x it is x squared x into y it is x y y into x we write it as x y y into y it is y squared then x squared added to x y added y squared okay then for the square of a binomial expression we have obtained a particular expression like this. Then here we can remember this one as a formula. Apita make a formula like a kid hitter, matakatiaga and a pulva. Balana putte apikomat make karani kela. X plus y is equals to x squared added 2 into xy added y square okay then separately we can identify that x squared means square of the first term no x squared it is square of the first term 2 into x y means it is two times the product of two terms and y squared means it is the 
square of the last term, then we can write this as square of first term, square of first term. It is better to remember this always. Two times the product of the product of the first and second term. Y squared is considered as the square of last term, or you can say second term, because in a binomial expression, there are only two terms. Okay, then this is the way of remembering the binomial expression as an equation. Equation ne kaafi di hai, binomial expression ne ki square ek matka di agar ne, apni maine mere vi di hai. Okay, you can write down this one. Okay, please raise your hand if you have finished the writing. Let's see how we apply this when you have to find the square of a binomial expression. Now you have to detect that the middle, or oh, this is a sum, no? This is a square of a sum of two terms actually because the in the binomial expression it is addition then let's see how we find the subtraction you can see that x subtract y square then as we take it as this formula x is square then we square first term add 
product of two first term, second term. Then here it is minus y. Then that means instead of the plus y, you have to substitute minus y because it is minus. No? Then x is squared. 2 into x into minus y, it becomes minus 2xy. Minus y squared, that means it is plus y squared. Okay. Then you can identify that when we have a subtraction. Okay. Subtraction then it becomes x squared minus 2xy at y squared. Okay. Uh, actually, no need to remember this one. You can just substitute the sign of the middle term to the when you take the when you expand the square of a binomial expression, okay? Then for an example, oh, sorry, you please write down this second one. Okay, let's take an example. Example one, x plus two square. Then how we find the answer? Then it is square of first term, it is x square, add two times product of two terms. Then it is x into two. Add the square of the second term. So it is two square. Then x squared add 2 into 2, it is 4 into x, 4x. 2 squared, it is 2 into 2, 4. Example 2, x subtract 3 squared. Then square of the first term, x squared, two times product of two terms, x into minus three. Add square of the second term, then square of minus three. Then x squared, two into minus three it is minus six x. 2 into minus 3 minus 6 into x, x. Minus 3 squared, it is plus 9. Okay. Example 3. Let's see some different one. It is 2x plus 1 squared. Okay square of the first term that means 2x will square add 2 times 2 times product of 2 terms 2x into 1 add 1 square square of second term then 2x squared how we find the 2x squared 2x squared can cut 2x squared means 2x into 2x. That means you have to take the square of the coefficient. It is 4. Then x, x squared. Answer is 
four x square. Add two into two four into one four into x one square. It is one. Then example four. It is minus two x minus one square. Okay, then look at here. It's not difficult. Okay, it is minus two x square. Add two times product of two terms minus two x minus one. Add Square of the last term, that means second term. Then minus two into minus two, that means square of the minus two. No, then it is four x square. A hey, minus two x minus two x can multiply even equal to minus two minus two. It become plus four x into x. It become x square. So here it become four x square. Here plus two into minus two minus four minus four into minus one. The answer is plus four x minus one is squared means minus one into minus one it become plus one. Then this is answer also four x squared plus four x plus one. Okay, did you understand this one? Is this clear? Yeah, I have to do it. Okay, write down the first example. Have you finished the writing, dear brother? If so, please raise your hand, dear brother. Please hand to hand.
Okay, put it. Then let's move to the uh, tutorial exercise. Okay, try to obtain the answers at once. That means you're using only two steps. No need to expand this. You have to just simplify using the formula. That means take this square of first term, two times product of two terms, and square of the last term. Okay. When you finish up to the 10th question, please raise your hand. I will give you one or two minutes.
how you finish this? At least up to fifth one. Passen yega vena kai vel kattiye ko balan. Only one. What happened to the others? Two. Three. Naditi, Amira. Okay. Shall we discuss the answers? Parum the answers for the card had no theorem with an active but they are I continue for an Puru and me. Never take an aid. I will be balamina. Simplify. Here it is p added 8 square. Then we know we have to take the square of first term. Palavini term make it square. It was anywhere in the only two times product of two terms. That means p times 8. Then 8 is square because square of the second term. Then p squared add here two times eight it is sixteen times p add eight squared that means eight times eight it is sixty four. Second one, first one, second question. It is 3 plus y squared equals 3 squared at 2 times product of two, no, 2 terms, 3 into y at y squared. So 3 squared is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 into y, 6y y square this is the answer for second one third one x minus 5 square then x squared plus 2 into x into minus 5 don't forget the minus okay minus 5 add minus 5 squared then x squared 2 into minus 5 it is minus 10 x then minus 5 squared it is plus 25 no minus 5 into minus 5 and the minus 5 times minus 5 it become plus 25 because minus minus it become plus okay Fourth one, y minus 10 square equals y squared plus 2 into product of two terms, 2 into y into minus 10. Add minus 10 squared, then y squared add 2 times minus 10. That means it is, it should be minus 10y. Plus 2 times minus 10, it is minus 20. It's minus 20y. Here minus 10 square, that means it is 100 y squared minus 20y plus 100. Five. 2x add 3 squared. Then square of the first term. Then 2x squared. Add 2x into 3. 
2 times 2x into 3. Add 3 squared. Then 2 squared is 4x squared. Because we have to take the, when we have a product, square for product, first of all, take the square of the coefficient. It is 4x squared. Add 2 times 2 into 3. That means it is 3x. Add 3x, so 3 squared means 9. 4x squared at 6x at 9. Okay. Please raise your hand those who have got all correct up to fifth one. First one is going to come here. No one. So look at this one. Only four correct. Hatara kariye. Uh, ah, yes, here it should be 12x, no? Thank you. Here this is 2 into 2, it is 4. 4 into x, it is 12x, sorry. Yeah? And now raise your hand, those who have got all correct. I baran hukkum harikati. Anna den nekin na tunde nai. Hatara Only 4 correct. Three to not carry three. Okay. And it's a very good thing. Others try to finish the up to ninth one. Okay, let's see the answers for the sixth one. 2a add 5b square. Then square of the first term, time add 2 times 2a times 5b. 
at the square of the last term. Then 2a squared means 4a squared. At 2 times 2 it is 4, 4 times 5 it is 20. a into b it is ab. 5b squared it is 25b squared. This should be the answer for sixth one. Then seventh one, Q add eight squared. Then Q squared plus two times Q times eight. Meet the NP divided by the NP. Add eight squared. Then Q squared add two times eight. It is sixteen times q. 8 squared, it is 64. Eighteen minus 4m minus 3 squared. Then minus 4m squared Add 2 times minus 4m times minus 3. Add minus 3 square. Then minus 4m square. That means minus 4m times minus 4m. Minus 4 times minus 4, it is 60. M times M, it is M square. Therefore, it is 16 M square. Then look at here. 2 times minus 4, minus 8. Minus 8 times minus 3, it is plus. The minus, minus, plus, minus of multiplication. 2 times minus 4, minus 8. Minus 8 times minus 3, it is plus 20. 4m. Here minus 3 squared means plus 9. Okay. Last one, ninth one. It's 2x add 1 half squared. Then 2x squared add 2x, sorry, 2 times 2x times 1 upon 2. Add 1 over 2 square. Then 2x squared means 4x square. Then 2 to 2 cancel. Then 2x into 1, it is 2x. Here it is 1 upon 4. This should be the answer for the last one. That means all um, last four questions, all correct. What can I do? Only three correct. Okay. Okay, put in. Next, we are going to find the value of the squares using the uh, square of binomial expressions. Okay. Mm. Then write a topic. Topic ke ka kliya anu kumehima. Finding the 
value of a square of a number using a binomial expression. Look at for an example. When you have to find the square of 99, then we know that 99 can be written as 1 subtract by 100. Why I take the 100 and 1? Because to obtain the square of 100 and the the square of one is easy, okay? Then here we can expand this as a square of binomial expression. Then the square of first term add two times the square, oh sorry, two times product of two terms and minus one square. Then it is square of 100 means 10,000. Two times minus one is minus, minus 200. Minus one squared means one. Then 10,000 add one. 10,000 and one should be added. Or you can subtract. Subtract 200. 200 subtract 200 subtract. Then it is 0, 0, 8, 9, One should be added. Then it is 9,801. 9, you can check your answer whether we are correct or not by multiplying this. Yes, we obtain the answer as 9801. Okay. But actually, when you have given to find the answer using binomial uh, expression or by taking the square of a binomial expression, you have to use one of these methods. Okay. Second one. Uh, when you have to find the value of Square of 101. Oh, you have to find, you may think we have to find the value of 21 square using square of binomial expression. Then we have to take 21 as 20 added 1 square. Then 20 squared add 2 times 20 into 1 add one square. 20 squared is 400. Add two times 20 it is 40. Add one. The answer is 441. Okay. Okay, write these two examples.
Okay, Puthi, please try to do the fourth question, those who have finished with the writing example one and two. Lili Vera Katia, tutorial like a fourth question. You have to find the value of each of the following by writing it as a square of binomial expression. You can be given such kind of question as a short question in the part A of the state. If you have finished, please raise your hand. Really, very nice. Thank you.
Okay, shall we discuss? So, band, yeah, three very good. No one has finished. Is it difficult? How we write the 103? 103 can be written as 100 at 3. Then sum of two terms. Square of sum of two terms. Then square of first term add 2 times. Product of two terms, add square of three. Then 100 squared is 100 times 100, it is 10,000. Add two times three, it is six, 600. Add three squared, it is nine. 10,000 added 600 added nine is 10,609. Is there anyone those who have got this answer? Chenuti, it is not wrong actually. The problem is it is a bit difficult to obtain the answer. But that means for the square in the 102. 102 is the power of the square. What do you multiply? No. If you have a lot of money, you can have a lot of money. You can have a lot of money. You can have a lot of difficulty. You can have a lot of money. 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 0.1 squared. Now we make the next one. Up to pull one. 10 added 0.1. This is the most easiest way. Then 10 squared add 2 times 10 times 0.1 add 0.1 squared. Then 10 squared means 100 add 2 times 10, it is 20, times 0 0.1, it is 2, because for 1, 0, 1 decimal place removed. At 0 0.1 squared, that means 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 means 0 0.01. 100 add 2 add 0 0.01. Then answer is 102.01. Raise your hand if you have got this answer. How do you run at this? See, I mean, the decimal numbers, you know, by when the power of it. Okay. Next one is 49. Ah, okay. Then, Chenuti, Chenuti, tell me what is the most suitable way. Is it 48 plus 1 or any other different method? Yes. We can obtain 49 by subtracting 1 by 50, no? Then it is easy than taking 48 plus 1. Because square in 48 is be difficult. So we do this one to make our calculation easy. Okay. Then it is 50 square. Add 2 times 50 times minus 1. Add 
minus 1 square. Then 50 squared means 25. So 2500. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 times 5 is 100. Minus 100. Minus 1 square, it is plus 1. Then 200, 2500 subtract 100 means 2400. Add 1. Answer is 2401. Have you got this answer? Our may answer. Coburn, Cartahari may answer. And the channel did a villa, Yenulita villa, and sick. Tanvi, didn't you get this answer? Okay, anyway. Ninety eight. What is the suitable way? Ninety eight square. It is two is subtracted by hundred. Then 100 square add 2 times 100 times minus 2. Add minus 2 squared. Then 100 square. Then answer is 10,000. 2 times minus 2 it is minus 400 because my two times minus two minus four times hundred minus four hundred minus two squared it is plus four then ten thousand subtract four hundred it's ninety six thousand ninety six hundred and four answer is nine thousand six hundred four anyone those who have got this answer. Okay, good. Huh? Okay, shall we look at the fifth question also? Bhanda Pasani Prashnati Anna Balandalama. It is also a particular kind of question that can be given for the first paper within part A. That means short questions. Short questions are the type of questions. questions. If X plus y is equals to 8 and xy equals to 12, find the value of x squared plus y squared. It doesn't matter what you have given. You have to identify which square of binomial expression you have to take. That means whether it is a square of a sum or square of a difference. You can see x plus y is given. That means you have to take the square of the sum of these two. Then first of all, expand this. You know now x squared, 2xy, add y squared. You can write this at once now. Now you have given x plus y equals to 8. That means 8 is squared. You can substitute now. Then x squared, add you have given x, y. That means instead of this x, y, you can write 2 times 12, no? 12. Add y squared. Then x squared add 24 add y squared. 8 squared means 64. Now put the x squared and y squared take it uh, together. And take 24 to the other side. 64 subtract 24. What is the answer here? Then 40. Then you ask to find the x squared at y squared. Then it is 40. Okay. 
The main thing is, first of all, you have to identify what you have given and then after, whether it is a sum or a difference, if it is sum expand, if it is a difference expand, then you have to substitute the each of the given values. Now, when you have given x added y, that means x plus y is given, just 8. So, substitute it. X plus y can I substitute. Eka dila netta. Ma prashna na eka dila netta. Uto alt. Oya anta dila kena ituru. Harid. Please note down this one and try to do the tenth question. Tenth question ekaran baran. Sorry, not tenth. Second. Second question. Okay, did you try to obtain the answer? Here it is a difference, no? Methana thi any difference eka. Hina balan ani vare me puluva. How we get the answer? It is m minus n. Then take the square of n minus n equals m squared minus two m n add n square then substitute n minus n is 2 2 square equals m square mm, minus 2 times instead of mn you have to substitute 8 add n square then 2 square is 4 equals m square minus 160 add n square then Take this 160 to this right uh, left hand side. 4 at 160 equals m squared at n square. That means 164. m squared plus n squared equals to 164. Okay. Raise your hand if you have got this answer. Me answer Karan. Raise hand Karan. Hmm. I need that to pain with the get a look in a while. where you didn't get this one. Not there on a tantino, no matter for that. It's not clear today. Your mic is not clear. It is better that if you can send me a message. Others you can try on the third one. It is totally different with the previous two, 
But you can try this. Try karan puluang wear. But uh, first of all, look at what they have given and what you have to find. Ah, uh, you have to take a minus n because you have given a minus n. No? Generally, where you didn't get this answer? That means where did you miss the when you try to solve this? I took m plus n. Uh, the method of a squared plus b squared equals 58 and a b equals 20 and find the a plus b. You have to find the a plus b. Then let's see how we find the a plus b. That means you have to find a plus b. So a plus b squared should be taken equals a squared at 2, a b at b squared. a plus b, we do not have a value to substitute. a squared at b squared, oh sorry, we I take this together because then we can substitute. 2 a b, then a, instead of a squared plus b squared, I can substitute 58 for these two. At two times, instead of a, b, I can substitute 21. Then this 58 add um, 42, no? Then you can see 58 add 42 means 100. So a plus b squared. Then to find the a plus b, you have to take the square root of the other side. Square of Matikarana, square root Then a plus b equals to 10. Okay. Here it is uh, plus or minus, but a plus b is equals to plus 10. Okay. Because it is a uh, Square it chiral down then plus ten kilans. Okay. Then you can try the fourth question as a homework. Fourth question balana homework. I'll give this as a homework to try. Here there's in this case you have given only one value. Anyway, you have to find the sum of two squares. That means you have to take the square of the sum of these two terms. Me terms deke square ka tamay ganti ni. Ned, ehe manang me vade mukda venne apite ek number ek ak dila apito kuhumde hoyan na pulwa. Kela balum hari the. Then the for the next week, it's remaining to discuss the model paper questions. Okay. Uh, please keep this finished because I think with the knowledge that you have gained so far and in the grade nine binomial expressions and square of a binomial expression to solve these questions. The most important thing is you should have tried Okay, you should have read the question and you should have written, uh, that means you should have start to write an answer. Then you can check that whether I'm correct or not. Okay, so please keep this doing and also want to remember you that please don't miss the two day seminar uh, on congruency of triangles I will do from the beginning so please participate for it it will be uh, on next Thursday 8 a.m onwards and uh, Friday 8 a.m onwards okay you should participate for the both days to complete that lesson okay then I will stop the class here please try to do the fourth question as a homework and send your answers thank you for your participation goodbye good night god bless you all thank you thank you teacher god bless you.